Live from Dallas-Fort Worth, this is WFAA News. Every time the text bings, I'm like, oh, another delay, another cancel, don't cancel. I hate to say it, but I can't rely on Southwest to get the family us home, so we might have to leave a little early to drive ourselves back. My goodness, from Atlanta to Phoenix, passengers at airports coast to coast struggling to figure out how to get home today as the Southwest flight fiasco grows. Welcome back to Midday this Wednesday. I'm Tashara Parker, Dallas Bay Southwest counseling another 2,500 flights today and more tomorrow as it struggles to get things back on schedule, but saying relief is days away. The U.S. Transportation Secretary calling it a complete meltdown of the system. Here's Alexis Christophorus. I'm telling you, it was a long trip. Yes. Oh my God, 25 hours. Southwest Airlines trying to make good after a major meltdown, chartering this bus from New York's LaGuardia Airport to Houston. Oh, I hate Southwest. I hate them. I'm still stranded. I need to drive nine more hours. My feet are swollen. I'm upset. I'm stressed. I'm tired. And I hate them. Since Monday, Southwest has canceled more than 8,000 flights, even as other airlines have recovered from the massive Christmas weekend storm, leaving thousands of passengers stranded. We were on the plane for about three hours before they deplaned us and canceled our flight. And then um, our next available flight is December 30th. Officials saying the problems go beyond weather, including staffing issues, outdated IT infrastructure, and the airline's point-to-point -point flight system, making it more vulnerable to widespread problems when issues arise. The hub and spoke system used by most other major carriers helps isolate problems. I'm truly sorry. Two days into the mass cancellations, an apology from Southwest CEO. Our plan for the next few days is to fly a reduced schedule and reposition our people and planes, and we're making headway. U.S. Transportation yes, Secretary you know, Pete Buttigieg calling around. the meltdown unacceptable and vowing to hold the airline accountable. We are past the point where they could say that uh, this is a weather-driven issue. What this indicates is a system failure. A Southwest spokesperson telling affected passengers that they should keep all hotel, car rental and meal receipts, promising to reimburse them for expenses incurred because of the record delays and mass cancellations. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News, New York. And Southwest's stock is plummeting again today. This is a live look right now as it's down uh, more than two and a half percent. Our producer has been updating these numbers throughout the show and nearly 23 percent on the year. Those shares tumbled nearly 6% yesterday, the biggest one day drop since July. Shares slipped below $34 compared to $36.25 last week. Southwest revenue could take a 3 to 5% hit this quarter, all because of this disruption. And if you are traveling this week or you know someone who is, you can find a list of live flight cancellations, delays and status updates for both of our major airports live on our homepage, WFAA.com.